Welcome back to Bumble Bun. With the holidays coming up, a lot more people tend to get their bunnies from a breeder so that they are young for the longest span of time with them. As much as you should always adopt instead of shop, buying from a reputable breeder, a reputable breeder, is better than getting them from a pet store. However, most people don't seem to realize when they get a bunny from that young, you have to provide them with different care until they are four months old or even more. This video is all about the different care you must provide your new bunny and the best ways to give them that care. This video, however, is not for newborn to rehoming age of bunnies, which is around eight to 10 weeks old. If you would like a video on the care needed for that, please put it down in the comments as I have had a litter of bunnies and know a few tips I can share with you guys about all that different kind of care. Now first off, before getting a new bunny, you need to set up and prepare for the new addition. I have a video coming out soon all about bringing a new bunny home, so please check that out. However, baby bunnies require a bit different proofing due to them not being full size yet and a lot smaller, making it easier for them to fit through small areas. Some ways to do this extra proofing is to make sure to put extra small grates at the bottom of the X-Pen so that you can't just walk through the bars. Block off any spaces under furniture and doors, no matter how small they may seem, because the bunny, if it gets to that area, will go under. As well as you need to make sure they have the proper food and hay for their age when they come home. Secondly, when going to get the bunny, make sure it is at very, very least eight weeks old, but they really should be at least 10 weeks old before picking up and taking to a new home. Also make sure they are fully weaned. This means they should no longer be drinking their mom's milk and they should be eating pellets, so hard food. Otherwise, the baby bunny is not ready to leave its mom yet and should not be taken away from its mother. While you are at the breeders, also try and see what kind of pellets they are on right now and even see if you can get some transition food from that breeder to make your life a lot easier. This is important when bringing them home. At the very least, you need to know what food they are on. Now when you get your bunny, put it in a smaller enclosure than you will have it as you plan to house it. I am not talking about a store-bought cage. The baby bunny still needs to be able to live. If you plan on free roaming or using an X-Pen, preferably two X-Pens if you are using an X-Pen, simply take one of the X-Pens to keep it to help prevent it from getting overwhelmed by the new surroundings right away. This will keep them in the smaller area so that they feel safer and can slowly get opened up to the new area so that they feel a lot safer when exploring their new home. This also helps to have the temporary enclosure, as we will call it, in a quiet, non-active place in the house. The first few nights, please do your best to not touch or bother your new bunny. It is very scared and does not know you. You, right now to them, are just someone that's trying to hurt them. They do not realize you are friendly and just want to give them the best care in the world and all this love. So picking them up at this moment and holding them right away will cause them to be bonding a lot harder and will take a lot longer for this poor baby to start trusting you. And of course, we want them to trust us right away because we just want to love them. While they are in that temporary enclosure, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. First off, you still need to feed this little guy, of course. Now, this is a very important part that is different from an adult to a baby bunny. Baby bunnies need to go on young rabbit food, which is alpha alpha pellet and alpha alpha hay. Adult rabbits should not have this due to it having more protein and calcium, making it more of a treat rather than a diet, as it will start causing them to become fat and unhealthy. However, young rabbits or baby rabbits need that in their diet in order to, for them to grow and be healthy. This should be their main diet. Now, how I said that you should check what kind of pellets they are on currently, this is where this comes in. There are many different brands of food and pellets that you would maybe want to put your rabbit on, such as the Oxbow brand. In order to do this, you need to transition them from the food they are on now to the brand you want to give them. 
You do not want them to get home and right away start feeding them on this new diet. This will stress them out even more and cause a lot of tummy issues. Starting a new diet just any time of their life, just full out, here's your new diet, will cause a lot of tummy issues such as very painful gas, diarrhea, and much more. You need to transfer them onto their new food slowly. The way to do this is to feed them their current pellets for the first two nights. Then start adding in the new food to the old food, slowly increasing the amount of new and decreasing the amount of old throughout the days. The rule I typically follow is a fourth percentage of the new food to the old, then a half percentage of the new to food to the old, and then a third, until it is fully the new food. This process should take up to a week or two, monitoring your bunny to make sure they're not having any issues such as the bad gas. If that is the case, you might want to slow down the in-between portions of when you do the fourth to the half and so on. Another major difference in the diet of a young bunny to an adult bunny is they should not be eating vegetables until they are at least three months old. This means no salads, no treat veggies, no hay-based treats with the veggies in them that are baked in, no veggies at all until three months old. When you want to give your bunny a treat in this time frame, you must only have hay-based treats. I do know Oxbow does carry a certain type of treat that is purely Timothy hay. That is okay, but no hay-baked treats with any veggies or fruits, as well as no fresh veggies or fruits in this time. This can cause, yet again, a lot of upset stomach and really hurt your bunny's tummy your bunny's tummy is still growing in this time frame and getting used to eating so it's going to be a little bit for their tummy to get used to all of this so it doesn't hurt them however once they've turned three months you can start slowly introducing salad to your bunny's diet however you cannot just give them anything right away they cannot have hard lettuce right away such as romaine their tummies need time to adjust to all the new yummy stuff they're getting the first few salads should be pretty boring. They should be a softer form of lettuce such as spinach. That is typically the kind I start my bunnies off of is spinach. Also, you need to start off with a smaller amount of spinach or whatever chosen soft lettuce you have chose. You just have to remember this is all brand new to them. And as much as they're going to love it, they need to slowly have the amount given to them or else they will overeat and hurt their tummy. After a few days of just the spinach, the boring old spinach, or whatever soft veggie you did choose, you can now start adding a few bits of harder lettuce such as romaine, which is typically what I use to start them onto the hard lettuces. Slowly add more of that hard lettuce each day for about a week and a half as it goes by. Then they shouldn't have any problems with the veggies by the time that is done, and you can start adding a variety of different veggies in the salad. Of course, if you are noticing them having runnier poops or just having some tummy problems at all, cut back on the amount you are giving them of the romaine as that is what's causing it and you want to slowly keep adding that in until they are completely fine with it. This can take over a week and a half. That is just typically how long it takes for my bunnies. At this point, you can start introducing them to treat vegetables such as carrots and as well as some fruit treats. You can also now introduce them to that hay and fruit or hay and veggie baked treats. Just remember that these are treats so should be given in moderation. That goes for both the baked treats you can get from the store as well as fresh vegetable and fruit treats such as carrots and apples. If you're not sure what kind of vegetables are good for bunnies, please do a quick search or even let me know in the comments and I will make a video on it. This also goes for the lettuces that are soft or hard for bunnies. During the time in the temporary enclosure, you should start spending time on litter training. This is a lot easier in a smaller area, such as an X-Pen, which is why we want to do this in the temporary enclosure while they have to be in there anyways to just get used to the area. Hopefully by the time they are fully on their veggies and treats, they will be litter trained and you can start opening them up to their actual enclosure. However, the moment they are done being litter trained, they should be taken out of that enclosure because after those few days of being in there and having that litter training done, 
they should be able to have their amount of space that they are supposed to have such as two x pens or a full-on x pen or free roaming just open them up to it slowly so that they don't get overwhelmed because they are still young and gonna be scared now this is when you need to start thinking about the other aspects of owning a bunny such as the floor now the floor where you have your bunny is very important for all bunnies no matter the age as they need padding for their feet carpets should be put down for any bunny but especially for any that are rex type forms of bunnies such as mini rex regular rex satin rex whatever you want to call them any rex bunny needs extra padding this is because they develop sore hawks a lot faster than other bunnies even on padded surfaces but any type of bunny that you do end up getting should not have to be standing on cold hard floors constantly and especially never on wired or mesh floors no matter what every bunny can develop sore hawks you do not want them to be developing this because it hurts them every time they walk. I will make another video in the future all about sore hawks as well. This is why litter training ASAP is always a good idea, as cleaning a carpet every day with your bunny peeing on it all the time, it's not fun and then it is harder to litter train when having the scent on the carpet. This is why in the temporary enclosure, people tend to like putting down blankets rather than carpet just so that they could keep switching it out and washing it very easily. Now that your bunny is free roamed or in a large enclosure, litter trained, and eating vegetables, you are almost done with that extra bit of care that baby bunnies need. The last bit is once again revolving food. Once a bunny turns six months old, it is time to change their pellets and hay to Timothy hay and pellets. You simply do what you already did when converting them to the proper young rabbit pellets, yet again, just with adult rabbit pellets and hay. They should be fully off the Alpha Alpha diet by seven months and only given Alpha Alpha anything as treats. That includes hay, pellets, or any type of treat that may contain Alpha Alpha. And with that, your baby bunny is now considered a full adult bunny. Yes, the age is still young, they're not a year, so they're not an adult, but all that separate type of care that you need to think about when getting a baby bunny is now kind of over. They are now considered the same type of care as any other type of rabbit. I really hope this video helped you know the difference in the care of younger rabbits and adult rabbits and I do hope you now know how to give your new baby bunny the care they need and deserve. Please make sure to like this video if you found it helpful or you enjoyed it. Comment any questions if you have any or if you have any other topics you would like me to cover please let me know down in those comments. And of course, subscribe and click that little bell so that you get notified when I post my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye!